Now that we've just completed flying class, we're off to Hogsmeade to come to the sporting goods store here to purchase ourselves a broomstick. Inside, there's a few things that we can pick up. The field guide page here and a chest over here. Now we can speak to Alby and get ourselves a broom. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Opening up the shop, there's a couple brooms that we can purchase. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, though they do seem to have different pokes or at least text for each of them. Ember Dash, Fiery Temperament, Hogwarts House Broom, I assume it's to show your house pride, Moon Trimmer, Broom Built for Stability, Wind Whisper Broom, quite literally, a light touch, and finally a U Weaver Broom, apparently comfortable and speedy. I'll go for this, comfortable and speedy. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Now we've unlocked flight test. Let's go ahead and finish this for the video. Now we can head out of here, looting the last box on the way out. And we'll start heading back to Hogwarts. Lead to Hogsmeade. I'll head off to the side and we'll use our broomstick to get back to Hogwarts as it's our first flight outside. So for this you'll need to hold tab and then hit 3 to mount your broomstick. To get off simply hold B. We'll fly our way back. So, coming back to the Quidditch pitch now, we'll come down, if it isn't Slytherin's newest and we'll speak to Imelda here. Hello, Imelda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. 
Ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. And this one should be an easy one. So when you're flying around in these quests, simply make sure you hit as many of these balls as possible to get a huge speed boost. This is even more than holding a left click or whatever the boost key or button is for you. Obviously the faster you go, the harder it is to control. There we have it, our first race complete. Ugh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ugh. Fine. You won. Ugh, don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. And there we go. Now we'll return to Albie Weeks, so tab, three, and we're off. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. And when we get back here, you'll see you can't enter while mounted, so we'll land, unmount, and run in. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You'll know you're not able to fly because of the little no flight icon next to the minimap in the bottom left corner whenever you can't mount. Something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. 
I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address And there we go. This it relates to speed. That's a flight test complete. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.